up, YouTube? I had some spare time today, so I figured I'd show you guys my minimalist fishing kit. So the base is a K-Bar hand fishing reel. This guy retails for about 15, 20 bucks uh, on eBay or Amazon. Um, doesn't have the lanyard. I added that to it. Keep it from slipping out of your hand. I like this just because I keep it in my vehicle. I keep it packed with everything that I need, so it's a lot more convenient than rolling around with a fishing pole in the back of my vehicle or you know anytime I want to stop and fish. The number of times that I've found that I'm killing time and there's a body of water and I go, man, I wish I had a fishing pole. Um, this has saved me that. Also, the thing I like about it is I can throw it in my pack when I'm hiking or backpacking. I pretty much got my fishing kit with me anywhere that I want to go. Uh, works really, really great. So let's get into it. First part is this is like I said, it's made by K-Bar, so it fits the old K-Bar handle. But uh, it's a good hat tip to the the marine in me. That makes me happy. Up here you have a clip and your line spool. Line spool sitting right here. So you pop this clip off, and that actually keeps your line in place. So without that clip on there, you can spool it out. That's how you fish with it. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm not going to get into like the techniques on hand fish reeling or any of that stuff. We can we can do a video on that later. I just wanted to show you guys this kit. So I'm going to clip it about halfway and talk to you about how I've got this rigged at first. So this is 20 pound test, and then I have a little quick clip barrel swivel. I don't know if you can see that on there. Probably not. I'll hold it up to the camera, but you guys know what they are. It's just the barrel swivel that's got the clip on the end of it, so you can easily hook stuff in and out. <clears throat> Run a 20 pound test line. The reason I've got 20 pound on here is you don't get the give out of this that you do out of a fishing rod. I don't anticipate catching 20 pound fish on this thing. If I do, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Um, but the reason is that gives me a little bit more strength, obviously, to be able to you know pull, break loose out of stuff. Um, and like I said, I don't have you don't have the the give that you would in a rod. So when you're pulling, you're a lot more likely to to snap off line if you've got light line. But the reason I've got this hooked on there is you can quickly add lures, hooks, anything you want to it if that's your style. Um, or I've got a couple leaders that I've, I've built with lighter line. So if you're running smaller jigs or smaller lures and you want something a little bit lighter to get different action, you don't have to be running that 20-pound rope on there. So <clears throat> that's, that's why I've got that rigged the way that I do. So we got it locked up here. Got quite a bit on it. And the cool thing about this is you grab, twist the head off pops out and all your fishing tackle is in there so in top of the head I've got a bag of just some assorted jigs let's set this here where you can see got the jigs got a little weighted bobber I like the bobbers on the with the weights on the end because like I said this isn't you know it's not a traditional fishing pole so you don't get the whip out of it that you would out of a pole this adds a little bit more weight, obviously, so whenever you're swinging it, you can get a little bit more distance. I like that whenever I cast, but what you pack it with is all personal preference. I've got stuff in here that's kind of my universal, catches a little bit of everything. Um, when I'm, I mean, I'm going to be bank fishing with this, so when I'm bank fishing ponds and rivers around my place, this is the stuff that I use that it's going to catch a little bit of everything. But you can obviously, if you're targeting something specific or you're only going to want to catch one thing with it, you can, you can rig this up however. But, got little jigs, got my bobber in there. I've got, this is just an assortment of lead head jigs, hooks, sinkers. I've got a couple extra swivels in there. Just everything kind of, everything kind of to replace in there. And last but not least, I have a couple little jigs and rooster tails. I love these, I use them all the time. And then I have a couple of my leader lines already rigged. So what I've done with these is... I just spooled off about 10, 15, 20 feet, really however much you want. I went ahead and tied a barrel swivel on the end of it. So when I get out there, if I want to go to a lighter line, I can just take it, hook that barrel swivel on, and then hook it onto here and go and fish. It's really whatever preference. Um, I've just got them tied off with painter's tape and labeled for the poundage that they are. So really, I just wanted to show you guys this thing. You can set it up however you want. Obviously, we all have our own personal preferences or if you're going to target certain fish, but it's just one of my real favorite pieces of gear. It's quick, easy, stays with me all the time. Throw it in a back pocket, drop it in a pack. Um, if I'm killing time waiting on the wife, I can go and wet a line and don't have to run a fishing pole around with me all the time. So 
thanks for watching. If you guys got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'll get some more videos out to you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll get some more stuff coming your way.